This is our second uh, Memphis Answers associated with uh, Memphis Monday 166. Uh, Pat M commented, uh, why did you not cut the lower beam into the post so it would support the weight? Or cut them to the right height and put the beam on top like it should be? Pat, that's so harsh. Let's answer that question. Well, welcome to uh, Memphis uh, Answers 166.2. Uh, this is the second uh, Memphis Answers for the uh, shed roof bill. Uh, Pat uh, had questions, wanted to know why I didn't use the standard practice of putting the braces on top of the post or not in the post. Well, I wondered that too. Uh, I, uh, I based the build on a design uh, that's been uh, at my buddy's house that survived blizzards and hurricanes and who knows what else else for going on 50 years. And but I still wondered about it. Uh, and so I ran the figures. Let me uh, let me show you. So like Pat, when I uh, I built this thing and decided to build it according to my buddy's plan. Uh, I figured the uh, two by four purlins weighed 140 pounds, the two by six the rafters weighed 180 pounds, and the tin is 21, 21 pounds of sheet is 176, which is roughly 500. The ratio of the weight. Uh, between the top and the bottom is 1684. That means 84% of the weight is down here at the bottom, and that's what we're concerned at. The ledger board apparently has 16% of this weight. So 84% of 500 is 420 divided by five posts. That means there's only 84 pounds of weight on each one of the posts. Let's go look out, look at the uh, shed roof. So like Pat, I was uh, nervous even though I ran the numbers uh, that told me that 84%, only 84 pounds would be at each joint. I still upgraded uh, the design for my uh, buddy's design. I increased the number of posts from three to five. I also added these blocks right here. Uh, which support the uh, which support the weight here, and I in increased the number of uh, uh, his design didn't even have these uh, hurricane clips, and I put two on each one. Uh, some other upgrades I made uh, on the roof rafters. These are two by six, and in my buddy's design they're only two by fours, and the purlins are two by fours and he was using one by material. Okay, let's look at the uh, let's look at the joint here again. So here I guess you gotta do a thought experiment of will this joint support 84 pounds? Well of course it will. I mean a couple of nails that hold uh, uh, 84 pounds. But we have a block in here, we have these braces in here, uh, we have nails in this uh, board, and this whole arrangement is repeated on the other side. Okay, here we're on, the, we're on the outside, and you can see that we have the same, we have the same setup here on the other side. My conclusion is, is that our uh, shed roof out there will certainly outlast the one I, I based it on, which has been in place for 45 years. Uh, the joints are plenty strong after 184 pounds. Uh, you can use an engineering to double that and then double it again. Uh, it certainly hold up 168 pounds. So anyway, I think the, uh, I think the idea of putting the braces up on top of the post or in the notches is a good idea, it's probably the way you ought to do it, but the way I did it will also work.